Hi, fourth grade beginning strings for Zahara's Orchestra. This is our uh, third video that we are doing, and we've been talking about parts of the instruments, taking care of our instrument, instrument safety, parts of the bow, instrument or bow safety, tighten the bow before you play, loosen it before you put it away. Um, we have not gotten our real bows out in class, but we've been working a lot on the pencils the bow holds, thumb bend, middle extend, really extend it, don't just put it up here, fingers drop, pinky on top, and checking that we've got that left hand salt shaker, everything's backwards in the camera, so maybe you just see it better this way, but yes, the pinky needs to be the highest finger, even if you're a cello, there's still the highest finger, and it slopes down to the left like a salt shaker, okay, uh, we've done a lot of exercises in class, so um, you can look back at the old videos too, and that'll help you if you forgot, but we've done thumb bumps, we've done pinky push-ups, we've done salt shakers, and some classes have done elbow makes the bogo or monkey swings if you're a bass player. Uh, so I want you to practice all of those every day. Get your hands stronger. Okay, that's a big part of this. Um, if you know the names of your strings from the last week's video, keep practicing remembering which string is G, violin lowest string is G, then D, then A, then E. Good dogs always eat. Um, giant dinosaurs ate an elephant. I don't know. Maybe think of something else that's G, D, A, E. Uh, and then... Viola's, yours is cats go dancing around, okay, or cars go down alleys, that one works too. Uh, so if, yeah, you can create your own one, share it with me, I'd love that. Okay, so we've got violins and violas watching this video because we have similar things to think about. We've got our chin rests, shoulder rests or sponges, and we've got that same bow hold. Um, so practice putting the shoulder rest or sponge on. Think about the slope, the skinny part, and the silver or the chin rest matching. So the smallest part of the, the shoulder rest or the sponge should be on the same side as the chin rest. When you're getting ready to put these on, I need to do a little surgery on mine because it's missing this rubber piece and it's causing some problems for me so I need to fix that uh, but hopefully yours is good if we have the hooks I call these brackets but whatever they're called I don't know their actual name I'm gonna turn the phone <laughs> we can see it this way better okay uh, they're gonna face the inside this is what I call facing the inside if I spin it around oh no this will not work. There's no way they could grab on a violin or a viola that way. So make sure that they're facing the inside. And then make sure your skinny side is on the same side as the chin rest. Okay? Best to do this in um, sitting position, crisscross applesauce. But I'm being very careful that I don't drop my instrument here. Uh, so then we're just going to slide from the lowest part of the violin up and then it's going to be a straight line. So when it's done, it will look like that. And then we will be, if you are able to do a great bow hold and have the great exercises and the password on the pencil and you're able to do this well quickly, we're going to start learning how to hold our instrument and make a good sound. Of course, we want to remember the names of the strings, too. So we're getting close to, to playing. I know it's been such a slow-moving year. Um, so thank you for being patient with us. Um, one thing, if you want to get a head start, if you're really good at the shoulder rest and the bow hold, practice holding your left hand on the top left corner of your instrument. Okay, and we're going to show you rest position. If you raise your right arm and put your left um, hand with the violin under your right arm, put your right arm over 
this uh, tailpiece area and the chin rest. That's your rest position. And my feet are together. You can't see my feet in the video. Okay, and then we'll go back to it being in front of us. It's just not very great to show you all of these on a video. So I would much rather show you in person. And then once we can do rest position, we can easily do playing position. Um, but don't try that without me. Yeah, because we don't want to form bad habits. And it's just going to be way better once I can show you in person. So thanks for being patient. Have a great weekend. And uh, keep practicing the bow holds. So, like That's the best thing that you can do and then be going on your modules um, to get all of your work done. So this is week five, working on week five modules. You guys are flying right through. All right, have a great day. See ya, bye.